Hello, hello. Um, this game is a focus on really making sure I don't have any idle SCVs and really making sure that my macro is on par throughout the entire game. So actually, this game was pretty good because um, as a Clem fanboy, one thing I noticed was like when he's like when he has his uh camera on, I noticed his eyes are always darting back and forth. And that made me like wonder like how is this macro so good because if you ever look at his pro matches he's always on like the lowest like mineral and gas it's, it's kind of crazy every time i look at it and he's like really fast between um it's everything that he does and one thing i noticed was that i think the places he looks the most is the top right and the bottom left so that he knows how much mineral gas and supply he has as well as how many idle SCVs he has as well. One thing that makes uh, Terran a little bit hard is the fact that you're most likely going to eventually have idle SCVs and if idle SCV is not doing anything that is money lost. So this game my main focus was to look at the top right and the bottom left as much as I can and up until 11 minutes I did that very well. I kept my money super low, and I think overall this was um, a successful game. I did win, by the way, and I was doing the Euthermal build, the Brick, which is actually incredibly fun to play. You basically just make a bunch of Marines, Mines, Medivacs, and then eventually you go up to Ghost or Ultralisk, and then you basically Your just win from there. Is better than ever. So can't right now we're it's just a very standard opener, nothing out of the ordinary. Standard Reaper Marine into factory. So to sum it all up in terms of how to macro better, which is probably what the title is going to be, just look at the top right and the bottom left as much as you can. That's basically it. Like by doing that. I was able to constantly get supply out and never be supply blocked this game. I don't think I got supply blocked this game. So. Something to think about. So Reaper goes out. Oh yeah, um, with this build, you actually don't get the second gas until the starport comes out. And I did mess up this build a little bit, and this is my second day trying out this build. So mistakes are going to happen, but eventually they're going to iron themselves out. So, third CC before uh, Starport. And after the Starport comes down, I should be getting a depot plus my second gas. Uh, hopefully, I get it. I don't know if you delay it a little bit, but generally speaking, it's like the general gist of me getting the build down is pretty good. So. I do run I do run out of money a little bit and it's just again I didn't really refine this build too much but it's a very strong build to say it's because you can get a lot of aggression out and the thing about TVZ is that you always want to be very aggressive just so that they can't drone up to like 80 plus drones and then just demolish you essentially so, so here I'm always looking at the top right and the bottom left and then as you can see, I, I know that I have to get my depot by 35 supply, roughly around there. And I didn't make another mistake here. It should be Viking Liberator instead of Liberator Viking. The Viking is just to do nice scouting. So I'm not doing this perfectly, but if you look at the bottom left, Especially if it's sped up, I barely have any idle SCVs. Again, it's something that I can clean up, but it's definitely a huge improvement uh, compared to last week, I feel like. And as you can see, my gas and mineral is super low, which is exactly what I want. Again, there's still a few hiccups here and there just because... Again, a lot of the early and mid game is just me not be, being very comfortable with this build just because I've never really done this before. Um, I know that you're supposed to get Hellions, but usually I go for the Liberator first before the Viking. Actually, I don't even get Vikings at all, so...
the Liberator comes out. I'm supposed to get eight aliens before transitioning into standard macro game. And as you can see, I'm banking up here a little bit just because I didn't really know what to do because the timing is very late, as you can see. And... Oh, by the way... Yeah, I think... Did I get a reactor? Okay, I did get a reactor, which is good. Which is what we want. So this is another mistake here. I'm supposed to lift and then build the... Uh, racks on the factory. Again, it's fine. The main focus here is the macro, which I am slipping up a little bit. I, I realize that the four to five minute mark is where I really start to slip up just because I'm not really sure like what to do, I guess, because my racks haven't really finished yet. So this is just, I think this is just the racks being super late. Okay. Yeah, looking at the replay, I'm realizing a lot of the mistakes I have. It's always good to look at your replays to see how many mistakes you're making. Eventually, we do uh, stabilize a little bit, but 500, 500 minerals is a lot. Add on complete. Research complete. And I guess this is the reason why I'm in diamond. So, because I was being very fast with everything, my hotkeys got a bit messed up, and my rally point as well. The add-on completed at the building you're probably about to lift off. But again, right now, we are spending our minerals and gas relatively decent. It's obviously not the best. Um, also, I feel like I lost a little bit of track. I feel like a lot of... The like everything fell apart around the three to five minute mark i feel like just because it's hard for me to transition because i don't know when to transition like yeah i know i'm supposed to get the liberator and then the viking but because the small things are very late it really adds up so that's something that i should be aware of but eventually i get back on track as you can see that i don't have any more idle scvs i was not supply box Su supply block at all so far so that's a huge win for me so i guess if there's one takeaway from this game it's definitely not getting supply block uh, at all which allows me to really just up my production like i'm on i'm at 118 supply compared to 84 and i remember making scvs constantly so as you can see i'm 20 20 scv ahead of my opponent who is a zerg so this is very good for us um, I think that another mistake that I made was that the factory is supposed to make a... So it's, it's supposed to make tanks instead of mines, I think. And eventually I can add one more factory, but this is... This is kind of late. The mines did help, I'll admit. But I think this game could have been ended a lot sooner if I went for the tanks. I really love the mine play though. Like, mines are so, so fun to use. And they do a great job against the Baylings, in my own experience. So even while I'm trying to macro, you can see that I'm still making supply. And I'm keeping my money low. And as you can see, I, I again, I didn't get supply, block, supply blocked at all. And as you can see that I'm making my fourth CC as well. So these Hellions are just to be annoying and keep him distracted. He's banking up a lot and supply blocks. So, man, I really, I really crushed in this game. I feel like. So here I move out with 1-1 one, one completed. Um, it was completed a while ago actually. But my upgrades are pretty consistent. And as you can see I'm constantly producing. I should have been cutting, I think I'm supposed to be cutting, yeah, SCVs by now. Um, I should have had like around 70 to 80. 88 is a little bit on the high side, but it should be fine, I think. Better to have too many workers and too little. So let's see how the spike goes. Here I deploy the mines. The mines should have been a little bit forward, but it's fine. Split so I don't get uh, destroyed by banelings. As you can see by my hotkeys, I like to group little by little and just move them in. You're maxed. What a macro I maxed by 950. Wow. 
I, I'm maxed by 950. That's actually pretty impressive. So again, this build is designed for me to max very quickly. And if you don't get supply block, that's essentially what happens. So here I split my army into two, just so I can be a little bit annoying. So we... Again, the mines should be at the front. And I feel like if I just made tanks, this would have been a lot easier to win. Or maybe not, I don't know. Because... I just like mines, and mines do a great job dealing with uh, banelings. I guess tanks do as well, but you're gonna have to learn to tire your fire, from what I heard. But here I'm just all over the place. Supply is 91 to 148. I'm just doing really well, as you can see. Again, um, maxing by 950, very impressive, I feel like, especially at the Diamond League, I wanna say. And not getting a supply block is just a huge win here, so. I'm trying to split my mines. Trying to avoid some creep. Here I see the banelings coming out, I think. So I move off the creep because I see that. Yeah. I definitely don't want any of my units to be clumped up. Again, too many SCVs, but it's fine. I don't get my 4th or 5th gas just because for this build is very marine heavy. So you basically just make medevacs and tanks, but in this case I went for the mines. Which still end up working just because I have so many minerals. So around the mid to late game, especially when I have 1k plus, I should be making an additional Raxes and eventually a Ghost Academy a lot sooner. This, this didn't happen until I realized he came with Ultralisk. And a little before he came out with the Ultras, I did make three racks, but I really should have been adding on the racks a lot sooner. Good job for me making the, yeah, everything dies to Bane Links, but I can just remax super quickly. I can, I should have been able to remax a lot quickly if I had the racks a lot sooner. And um eventually when I go for more waxes I should make them into tech labs instead of reactors just so that I can have the ghosts ready if I need them so I guess the roaches the tanks would have been really really nice to have I don't mean to interrupt but you're under attack so eventually I do get that base but in terms of bases I'm overwhelming the Zerg for sure so yeah, those Raxes were super late, super duper late. Should have been a lot earlier. Mineral field empty. So I guess what I should be doing is, as I'm banking a lot of mineral, just go for additional Raxes, go for additional bases for sure, just so that I have the available income every anytime I need it. Mineral field empty. So I guess this is a case of me just tunnel visioning, tunnel visioning a little bit too hard. Mineral patch just went kaput. Yeah. So ideally, I try to get the base, just because if you get, if you can get the base, then you cut their production as well. So here I see the ultra list, which gives me the response to make the ghost. Owner of a new baby. And every, everything just just dies. And again, Diamond League is fine. I think eventually I want to do be more hard on myself, but the main problem here is not that everything died from the Ultralisk there. The main problem is that I didn't have the Raxes a little bit sooner. So here I'm just denying the bases, going for a two-prong attack. Again, if you can deny bases, you're probably going to win the game. Complete mineral field depleted. So yeah, at this point I just have a bank, but I'm not remaxing very quickly because I don't have my production. So the, again, main focus here is just to make sure everything is down pat by three to five minute mark. I feel like that's where I start falling apart a lot of the time in a lot of my games actually. You're being attacked. Don't forget to macro. And eventually the thing I originally said of learning to macro didn't work very well either. Um, eventually I lost sight of trying to look to the top right and the bottom left. And something I need to work on, but again, I didn't get supply block. Huge win for me. What a macro mineral field depleted. So I'm already on 3-3. Um I think a while ago. And he's on 2-1-2. Two, two. 
So in terms of upgrades, I'm definitely winning. Mineral field empty. Sacrifice those workers. Add on. Vespine guys are exhausted. Mineral field empty. The hero marine. But here, eventually, this, the ghosts do come, and I, this is something I want to pay attention to, because I don't know how ghosts really work. So yeah, the ghost kills the Ultralisk. This is just something I wanted to pay attention to, because I'm just wondering how ghost snipes really work. Because sometimes I spam click the key, and it, like nothing happens. Yeah, we're, yeah, I remember spam clicking the snipes, but I guess they didn't, they didn't happen, I guess, I don't know. A little bit weird, I should have been able to kill those ultralists. So I guess, um, in terms of macro, so yeah, as you can see, I'm just destroying all the ghosts. So how expensive are ghosts? Your command center is better than research complete. Hopefully it wasn't I, don't I know that they cost a fair amount of gas, which is eventually why I started getting the gases. Additional raxes again should have been a lot sooner. Extra bases would have been nice as well, just for the mules. So again, this game was this game wasn't the worst, but definitely a few, a few places that can be polished for sure. So at this point, I just overwhelmed the Zerg. Yeah, the, uh, that's kind of funny. The Ultralisk are bugged. But yeah, um, the reason why I won this is because of the ghost. The ghost saved my butt. My long shot. Maybe add some Marauders into the mix, just because I have the available resources. So I think what I should be doing is having making Marauders for the Banelings. And just for the tech, tech labs as well, and eventually getting the ghosts when I need them. Oh, I forgot. And oh, yeah. Marauders are great against um, roaches as well, because they do additional damage against heavy armor units. So, just something to note this game was pretty fun, I would say. Definitely a huge improvement compared to last time. So, to sum it all up, it was a pretty long replay, I know, but um, definitely try to focus on the mid game, like semi early to mid game, especially the mid game. And then from there, in the late game, it was pretty good that I got my additional command centers, but I just need to focus on the production as well. Um, Ghost Academy should have been a little bit earlier. Um, it's just always keeping, keeping in mind of trying to look at the top right and the bottom left as much as I can. And also the production. Like if I just got production out a little bit sooner, I feel like I could remax a lot quickly, and then just won the game from there. Um, I was trying to be sporadic and just try to do as much damage damage as I can. Definitely don't want to be um sitting back against Zerg unless you're going mech. But I think overall this was a very good game for me. The brick was a success, and I'll also clean up the build a little bit so. That's all, that's all for today. I love TBZ. And my last video was a TBZ as well. But we're just trying to clean up our macro. Again, macro before micro. I always know that. But it's just fun to split the army sometimes. So I guess that's it. I'll just get the tanks, by the way, instead of the mines next time. All right, that's the replay.